Silverstone Classic. I'm lucky enough to be here at the race of legends with a legend himself, Mr. Wayne Gardner, a hero, an absolute hero, surrounded by some great bikes. And I'm going to call you the team captain. You've got the race legends team captain here. Wayne, some great bikes here. What's going on? Well, first of all, Mark, you can call me what you like because I've had a lot of names over the years, so that's not an issue. Um, yes, we're, we've been running uh, for three years now events called, called World GP Bike Legends. What we do is we get all the retired riders from Grand Prix Racing, Superbikes, high-level riders from national championships, all from around the world at various events that we go to. And we put them on either the Grand Prix 500s, the real, real machines, or now, but the problem is we've been doing this is that the bikes are very old in their age and they're not that reliable. So we've had a multitude of, of uh, reliability issues and failures and we're all a little bit worried about the safety of them. They're good for a one or two laps to wave to the crowd and they're fantastic to ride and they're still very fast, but the safety is the main problem in reliability. So the change of all this is we're bringing in manufacturers, i.e. Yamaha now this year and Suzuki and all the other brands that are coming with us to dress up their latest sports bikes in the retro colours. Uh, in, for example, in Barry Sheen's colours. So, so is, it, is this an R1? Or this R2? is an R1 Yamaha. Uh, Barry rode for Yamaha. And um, I think most riders rode for Yamaha or Suzuki or Honda, or whatever the brands are, at certain periods. So we look back into their past, pick out an era that they were on Yamahas, and we obviously got Freddie Sheen on the screen here. This was Barry's, one of the copy of Barry's bike on a Yamaha, and Freddie Sheen's going to ride it uh, on behalf of obviously Barry. So that's, uh, then we've got uh, Phil Reed, who's a nine times world champion. We've got him on his colours of his bike that he always said was his favourite TZ250 colours on an R1. Um, we've got Freddie Spencer's bike from the 1980 over there. He raced at the Transatlantic Races uh, 1980 on a 750 Yamaha, dressed in the silver and blue colours, as you can see there, uh, with his name on the screen. Then you've got Neil McKenzie. Uh, that was his 92 uh, GP500 colours when he rode from the Gulwas colours. All these guys are riding, and my bike over there in the legend colours is uh, the number one bike of this, of this series. So we're gonna produce many, many numbers of these bikes, um, and they'll be, they'll be up for auction at the end of the races or the events, and the general public or the dealers, whoever is interested in them and buying a piece of history, don't forget, these are one-offs. Um, they can uh, make an offer, and we can um, sell it to the best, um, person out there with interest. So, so if there's anybody out there interested in perhaps coming into this auction for, for these one-off machines, how do they go about that? We will have, we've got a website and we've got some information forms here um, that we can put up, but uh, yeah, you only have to ask some of the girls here and they can sort that out. It will, or, or, the web, this event, or it's the website. Or the website, website correct. The website. Um, or World GP Bike Legends website. You can go to there and look inside there and find uh, the bikes that will be up for auction. Um, but also there'll be uh, some forms around here and there's, this event's been filmed by us. We'll go on a 30-minute uh, program in a couple of weeks, which is one of our events. And the auction will still be live? There'll be the the, the auction will be live up, up till the, the first event on the TV, which will be a couple of weeks' time. So there's plenty of time, plenty of time to have a look around the bikes. They're fantastic. Um, they come with numbered plaques on them. They come with special coloured coded colours. Uh, and they, you, you get also a ticket to come in and, and join our future events as well. So there's a, there's a lot of benefits to it, a letter of it, authenticity. That, it, so anybody who enters this auction, they haven't got to race you, have they? They don't have to race, they can actually... No, they don't have to race you? No, they don't. <laughs> well, I can give them a few <laughs> lessons and tips. Um, they can go out and use it as a track bike, or they can actually put it on the road and um, with its indicators and lights back in it, and uh, they can ride off down to the local street cafe and show their mates uh, they've just bought Barry Sheen. Uh, bike. Really cool looking things, love to have a go on them, love to have a go on them. Oh, the, so la the latest sports bikes, may I say, Mark, 
is that they're all amazing. They're all incredibly good these days. They're all got 200 horsepower or more, which is far better than most people's skills. And uh, they're just fantastic and docile and easy to ride. And, you know, with ABS brakes and all the other traction control things they come with, they're, they're extremely good these days. It's like all most cars yeah. are all extremely yeah. good, and it's it's the same for the bikes. Well, but re uh, Really, that, my experience, you know, I love my bikes, love riding. But really, I'm more experienced with a kettle and a toaster, and they've improved <laughs> over the years as well. Yeah, but, but coming back, coming back to bikes. Yeah, but if you want some thrill in your yeah, life, you've you got to get you got to get a bike between you your do. legs, you know, because it's the it's the best thrill you can have. Ab no, absolutely subscribe to that. Racing. What time are you out today with these machines? Uh, we're out at two o'clock. We've got a, a short little display. Come slash, come race um, uh, around Silverstone here. Uh, I'm not sure if you know, but many years ago I won here the Grand Prix, and uh, a couple of times I think I've won here, one in the wet and one in the dry. So the track's changed a little bit um, due to Formula One uh, requirements, yeah. but it's still really, really fun to ride around here. My son's also riding here this weekend. Uh, he's riding um, that Suzuki over there, that Grand Prix bike, uh, 500. Two so stroke, two two stroke, stroke. He hasn't ridden one yeah. before, so that'll it's be a, an interesting, an eye opener for him. I so, see yeah. from here, cooked up tyres. But mm. with, with the weather, we got it okay at the moment. Two o'clock, bit of dampness, lots of old Hope kit not. going round out there. Yeah. So what what tyres we got? Uh, we've got the latest sports tyres from Continental, um, because it's such a shot. That's what you're riding out. Yeah, the they're very. They're you know the the tyre technology on the streets these days is nearly as good as slicks. Yeah, so you know from a safety point of view, we've left the. The, the the cut they cut slicks so we've left them in in case it is a bit damp out there and it'll be fine you know these bikes have track I, I, control I, I, so I'm it's no, not a problem I'm no expert on this but the, 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 the little I do know or I've heard is that where you get old cars tearing around a track and then oil for, yeah oil grease etc yep. a little bit of uh, dampness on it not a, not a healthy combination no um last year we had some of that but you know I I led the field on the first couple of laps. And then once it was all okay, you know, I was spotting some oil little patches out there and uh, we stayed away from it, but uh, everyone yeah, everyone was okay with it, you know? Well, I, I hope you all enjoy your ride this afternoon. Thank you. And don't forget that auction. Check out the website. You could have the chance to have one of these. If you want to buy a piece of history, and they're one-offs, they're here, and five of them. So five. Five Yamahas, five. R1s, very very fast motorcycles and with special colored coded um colors one careful owner and one careful owner correct race Thanks, of legends mate. thank you back wayne thanks guys